So you've gone and put mulch all around in your flower beds and you come back and you see this. This is trench bees. See that hole? That hole? They look like giant ant hills. So you saw the trench bees. Now, I'm gonna go into, you'll have to excuse me. My son's filming. We're on our way to a job right now. I just filmed those this morning when I was getting ready to leave. And I wanted to show you guys uh, what trench bees actually look like. And they got somebody, I don't know why they didn't call me, but they got somebody coming out to look at the trench bees today to see if there's anything that can be done. But the thing about trench bees is or cicada killers with a lot of people call them cicada killers they uh, usually breed in the spring so if you treat your yard around the period of like april may june uh you're going to eliminate your trench bees what it is is the cicada goes in the ground and lays eggs in the ground and so those little grubs that crawl up if you've ever seen those little brown casings and if I can find pictures, I'm going to insert them here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But those little brown casings on the side of a tree, the cicada worm crawls up and they pupate inside that brown casing. That's what the cicada used to look like. And then it comes out and it's this really big bug with these really long wings. Cicada killers kill cicadas and eat them. So what they do is they lay their eggs in the ground. They go and they kill the cicada or they paralyze it. They bring it back to the ground. They burrow and they feed it to their baby. So the baby is in there, the egg is in there. They take that paralyzed cicada and they seal it up underground with their baby. So then the, when the baby hatches and comes out of the larva stage, they have something they can eat. And so they eat the bug and then they pupate. They turn into cicada killers. They come back next year. So cicada killers are usually something that you need to eliminate on a yearly basis. You have to treat them in the spring to summer uh, every year for several years before you get the uh, you get the larva out of the ground where they've been living. And so and they'll return to the same place every single year. Just like carpenter bees, just like uh, dirt dauber wasps and stuff. They always return to the same location every single year and they uh, lay their eggs every single year in the same spot. Places that they're used to, to laying eggs or where they've hatched from. Um, so what you need to do to get rid of this problem is you need to treat your yard uh, with like a granular substance. Sometimes people will do like a power spray, um, but usually granules are all you really need and then you water your lawn. So that's usually what I would recommend that you do to eliminate uh, the trench bee problem. And like I said, you need to do this every spring. Um, around you know between may and june you could do it in the summer if you start seeing heavy activity treating the summer but you're going to get a lot better results if you do it earlier rather than later before you see those mounds like if you know an area where the trench bees are going to come out they're going to you know fly out every year then you want to treat those areas before the ant hills appear or they call them ant hills they're not actually anthills. You could put your whole thumb in the hole. That's how big the hole is for a cicada killer burrow. Um, let me think, what else was it that I needed to talk about? Do you have any questions, Rory? Um, yeah. Uh, trench bees, uh, they're really big. Are they gonna hurt if they sting me? Um, no, actually trench bees don't sting. So you don't have to worry about a trench bee actually stinging you. People will claim, they love to say, oh, those things, oh, they hurt me. I got stung by them. This, oh. But it was something else. It wasn't a trench bee. Uh, trench bees, cicada killers, whatever you want to call them, they don't sting. They use their, their stinger, like I was explaining, to paralyze cicadas. So they're not interested in actually stinging you. They look like gigantic hornets, and they hover on the ground like little miniature helicopters. They're actually not going to hurt you at all. They won't hurt you. They won't hurt your pet. I've been at homes before where people wouldn't even let their dog walk outside because they were worried that the bees were going to sting their, their pet. So, no, they're not going to sting you. They're not going to hurt you. Okay. So, also, if you treat your yard or if your exterminator is going to treat your yard, 
um, and you're worried about your pets, since we're on the subject of pets, uh, you need to ask your exterminator what they're using on your yard to make sure it's safe for your pet to go out and when your pet can return, return back to the yard. So granules, if you're using a granular insecticide, usually the bag will say that you spread it over the yard using either a lawn spreader or by hand with gloves. And then you go behind yourself and you treat the yard with a water hose. All right. And then it will tell you on the label, keep all pets indoors for three or four hours or maybe even till tomorrow. It just depends on what the label says. So if you've got an exterminator and he's coming out to treat your trench bees, make sure you ask them, how, when can my pet go back on the yard? Because a lot of times guys don't may not even recognize that you have a pet or not. They should pay more attention. But just in case, you want to make sure that you, you know, cross all your bases, make sure everything is checked off on your list. So hopefully this has been an informative video about cicada killers or trench bees, uh, ground bees. You know, this, this is several of the different names people have for them. And if you have any questions about trench bees or any other pests, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below on the video. Share the video, spread it around, get the word out. You guys have a really great day. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.